Hello everyone and welcome back. So Microsoft just finished up their E3 press conference for 2015 and I want to go over some of the highlights for the conference. Now I'm not going to give you guys all the information on that so if you guys want to just check out the entire conference I'll leave a link to that in the description below so go ahead and check that out. But if you're just here to see some highlights of pretty much the main stuff they went over, that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. So first off, Halo 5. They showed two new trailers for Halo 5 and they even released a new information about a new game mode in multiplayer where you're going to be able to burst AI and versus players at the same time. They also unveiled that the Xbox One will now be backwards compatible and you will also be able to play 360 on Xbox Live with all of your friends and Xbox 360 games will all be compatible on the Xbox One starting in the spring or starting now if you have Xbox at premium access. They also released a new Xbox One Elite controller where it's pretty much a completely customized controller where you'll be able to swap out all the parts on the controller. There's a new D-pad and there's also the ability to put in paddles in the back of your controller. They also unveiled that they will be releasing a new one terabyte console so no more worrying about space for games or anything. They finally released uh, some new Fallout 4 information and it's also Fallout 4 exclusive content for Xbox where all the PC mods that will be running on PC will also be available for free on Xbox One. So that's pretty cool. We've never seen anything like that before, but now we're going to be able to have mods on our consoles. They also released a Forza 6 trailer that's, and a release date for Forza. So Forza is going to be coming on September 15th of this year. They also released a teaser to Dark Souls 3 and they also released a Tom Clancy's The Divisions trailer. Now also they released that Tom Clancy Division will be coming first on Xbox this December. It's not an exclusive, but it will be coming first to Xbox. They also released the new Tomb Raider trailer, and it's called Rise of the Tomb Raider. This game is an Xbox exclusive, so no more PlayStation Tomb Raider, unfortunately, but it looks pretty cool, so if you have an Xbox, I definitely advise you guys picking this up. They also released a new Fable trailer for a new game called Fable Legends. That looks pretty cool. We haven't really seen much information about that. And the main part of the show, they finally offered Oculus Rift support for Xbox. Now this is a, if you don't know about Oculus Rift, it is a virtual reality headset that you put on and you can play all your games in virtual reality. They also added to this by showing their new virtual reality that they built themselves called HoloLens. This is uh, the biggest part of the show that they showcased and they also showed uh, Minecraft which is going to be one of the first games to come out on this. I'll leave some screenshots on the screen below of uh, some of the crazy features they have. You can actually project Minecraft onto the wall or onto a table. So that's going to be pretty cool with other games that come supported with that. They then wrapped up their conference with Gears of War Remastered, which will be coming out August 25th on Xbox One. And they also released a beta for that that's coming out later tonight. So if you have an Xbox One, be sure to check that out. It's going to be free for everyone that has live, so go ahead and download that if you're interested in playing that. But that's pretty much it for the conference. It's the main stuff that they covered. If you want to see Sony's coverage later on today, I'll be uploading that as well. And check out my channel. I upload daily gaming videos, so be sure to subscribe.